One, two, three, four. It's the Album Cockpit Podcast, a shared excursion of breaking down a music lover's favorite record track by track, complete with impactful memories and experiential highlights. I'm Ross Oliven, and thanks for joining me and a special guest pilot each episode. Happy birthday! Frosty just made a cameo for multiple reasons. First, he said it every time he was reanimated, and the Album Cockpit Podcast is back. Secondly, my guest co-pilot Ayn Embry celebrated his 50th, the day after we recorded this episode. So celebrations all around. Now we jump from a snowy holiday icon to a spooky holiday vibe talking the Smashing Pumpkins and their 1991 debut album, Gish. Thanks for pushing play. Let's get ready to take off and enjoy the journey. The Album Cockpit Podcast is back, finally. And it's so exciting to have Ayn Embry on to talk about the Smashing Pumpkins' first studio album, Gish. Ayn, how are you? Tell me a little bit about your music background, and then we'll get into why you chose this album. Ross, I am good. Thanks for having me here. Um, my my music background, so so I'm about the same age that you are, and uh, came out of high school in 92, came out of college in about 96, and those are your formative music years, I think, where you start uh, learning what you like and, and learning what's out there, and uh and for me, I had uh, started playing, playing bass in in a band, and uh, and trying to figure out what I liked playing. And uh, one of the things that that stood out to me, you know, beyond like uh, probably the top ten songs that were of the day, like I don't know Michael Jackson and you know Brian Adams and you know stuff like that. Yep. Uh, you know, there started to be a little more of a grunge sound, alternative music coming out, a little, little heavier to rock. And for me, um, uh, Gish is one of those albums that just was like a lightning bolt. It hit me. And uh, here we are, you know, 30 years later, uh, you know, talking about it. And uh, I just think it's, uh, it's one of those albums that I can listen to from start to finish and have great memories of stuff. And uh and I just love it. It's a it's a it's a great album to me. Yeah, and that's what this format is all about. Even even as you creatively acquired your first copy of the <laughs> album on CD, so you're a Butler grad. I, I, I work there grad. now, and uh, WAJC was the radio station at the time, and you you were there for a couple of the final years or the final year before the radio station was sold. Talk about your your acquiring of said CD. Yeah. So one of the things that we had to do as students uh, back in those days was we, we had to have a radio show and uh, you would go in and I can't remember. I think my radio shift was probably like 10 PM till 1 AM or, or something like that. And we would flip formats from NPR during the day where we would have to read the news and the weather and, you know, hi, I, I'm Ian Embry. The weather outside is 48 degrees and here's the top news. And then we'd have this radio show at night like, hey, I'm DJ Dr. Einstein. I'm playing the hits for you, you know. And um, so we used to get these promo copies that were sent to us from from the uh, record companies, I guess. And and I was learning all about the music and um, there's a lot of punk rock and a lot of just different rock than what I had listen to you gotta remember this is like before internet so if you wanted to hear something new you had to find that local radio station that was playing literally playing alternative hits and we kind of did that well we had these promo copies uh from the record companies and one of them was gish and it would have a stamp on it that says you know this this record is promotional use only uh and I was like, we've got kind of multiple versions of this. I'm going to take this one. And I think I've still got the CD sitting over here in my record collection, my CD collection that I still never got rid of. You never know when it's coming back. It's all scratched up. It's all messed up. It probably wouldn't play if you put it in a CD player. But that was was really like, that was that was how I, I acquired my copy of Gish. I love that so much. Well... Let's dive in. We'll we'll get into more stories as we go, but I want to hop into the music here. And we're starting with track one, I Am One. <laughs> 